In this video I will show you how to build a foundry furnace. But not just any furnace. This furnace can be built in a couple of hours, requires no refractory, and is ready to use as soon as you're done building it. The cheapest and easiest build on the web. And then we're going to melt some brass with it. Stay tuned. Starting with a 5 gallon metal bucket, drill a 2 inch hole for your burner. Cut the top off with an angle grinder and clean up the edges with a file. Using the cutoff as a guide, cut out two discs of high temperature ceramic blanket. The crucible will sit on this piece of fire brick, so I cut the insulation to fit around it. Cut two strips of ceramic blanket to fit the height of your bucket. Make them a little long so it fits in tightly. Remove the pour spout from the lid and then pound it flat. Then drill a 3 inch hole in the center of the lid. The next step is optional, but I used the center cutout to cover the spout hole and attached it with bronze brazing rod. And now we're ready to put the lid back on. Next cut a bunch of rectangles to fill around the edges of the lid and pack them in. If you pack them in tight enough, you don't need any glue to hold them in place. An old brass faucet and fittings will be our first melt. Here's two pounds, three ounces of brass. For the burner, I'm using this Harbor Freight propane torch that I got for $20. I'm not mounting it permanently because I plan to use a waste oil burner in the future. I set some fire bricks on the top to give the lid some extra weight. I got one pound, 10 ounces for a 75% yield. The furnace has cooled off now, so let's take a look inside. The ceramic blanket has held up just fine. No problems in there. Check back soon and I'll try melting cast iron with a waste oil burner. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.
is my dross. This is interesting. These little buttons that were on the, the faucet handles are fine. You can even still read them. So I guess those are ceramic and uh, pretty, pretty heat resistant. The top looks like it's all dross, but um, it's actually metal. I'm not sure why it poured like that. But the point is, is the furnace can do it. So maybe someone out there who's experienced with brass pours can tell me why that happened. Uh, I didn't degas it, I didn't use any flux or anything, so maybe that's why. Uh, I don't know. But kind of cool. Furnace works.